Cinema as we know it has come a long way since its establishment, dating back to the late 19th century. To understand its starting point, we must go back to the origins of cameras and find out how this led to what we now know as cinema and how it became such a great achievement in history. A question to begin with is, who invented movies? The answer will be that we basically cannot just point at one person and say that they did it. We just can't. Movies were not invented by simply one person. In the 17th century, before there were cameras, there were magic lantern shows. These were essentially images painted on glass and then projected on the wall with lanterns. This is the first version of today's projectors. It is well known that this is a revolutionary invention that would eventually lead to the invention of the projector and camera. In 1891, Edison introduced a prototype model of the deflated tube lens, which allowed everyone to display moving images in turn. In 1893, a large public event was held with a projector. The deflation pump has become a very successful invention and has achieved great success in public living rooms around the world. In the 1830s, there was a great toy shaped like a magnifying glass. You look at the images reflected in the mirror through the stilts, and they appear to be moving. It was originally invented by Simon von Stamper in 1832, but was later renamed Phenakiscope. In 1834, William Horner invented the solar trope. The solar trope has no mirror and allows multiple people to watch the movie at the same time. The image of the mesoscope from 1870 is attached to the edge of the drum. When the drum rotates, the image appears to be in motion. Its design avoids distortion, which is why it's quickly replaced by other optical toys. The Moving Horse Photographer Edward Muybridge wanted to capture moving horses, so he installed 24 cameras with trigger cables. In 1878, he produced a series of photos that made the horse appear to move while looking at the performance machine. This camera takes the form of a rifle and can take 12 photos per second. George Eastman then created the first celluloid raw film which enabled inventor Thomas Edison and assistant William Dixon to invent the first camera to record motion. The camera came out in 1891. Movies shot with a movie projector could only be viewed by one person at a time. Movies of that era were black and white and did not have sound. This period began in 1895 when the Lumiere brothers invented the movie camera. This device records film material and projects the lens onto the screen. The era of silent movies ended in 1927 when the use of talkies, also known as audio movies, began. This changed everything and the new jazz singer became the first film with sound released in 1927. Wait a minute, wait a minute, you ain't heard nothing yet. Wait a minute, I tell you, you ain't heard nothing. You want to hear Toot Toot Tootsie? All right, hold on, hold on. Lou, listen, play Toot Toot Tootsie, three choruses, you understand? And the third chorus, I whistle. Now give it to them hard and heavy. Go right ahead. Nothing but blue skies from now on. You like that, Mama? Yeah. I'm glad of it. I'd rather please you. Anybody I know. Oh, darling. Will you give me something? Filmmakers must adapt to the new age, and actors must adapt as well. Some actors 
need to stop acting because their voices no longer have good visuals and the target market no longer likes them. Others cannot find the paintings because his performances have become too spiky and dramatic because he hopes to appear in silent movies but no longer appears in talkies. It was a huge success. Treating sound as an essential device in filmmaking, the jazz singer opened new doors for film studios and paved the way for sound in films. How did colour in film begin? This is through an old process technology, namely Technicolor. This process was a motion picture process that uses dye transfer techniques in order to produce a colour print. Films shot in Technicolor used a three segment digital camera to capture the scene in cyan, magenta and yellow and then put these colours together. When using Technicolor, pink and yellow are considered the standard colours which will produce the best image. The three segment cameras used to shoot Technicolor movies were very bulky and were usually supported by a tripod. As a result, almost no Technicolor movies have been shot outdoors as this was just too hard to do in that era. The Three Little Pigs became one of the first Technicolor films. Everything changed in 1939 with the release of The Wizard of Oz. Since then, Technicolor would become a famous staple of colour in film. Then came World War II. Post World War II, American filmmakers began basing their films on darker themes. Films released during this time dealt with crime, corruption, greed and cruelty. Film noir, which translates as dark film and draws inspiration from international films. This new wave movement of cinema started in the 1950s and 60s. It broke the rules of traditional filmmaking. For example, the use of a structured story, fixed dialogue, excellent editing, etc. And often confused audiences with a lack of structure. These films were unlike any other film of the time because they were using handheld cameras, non-linear timelines, improvisation and minimal editing. The Great Recession made it very hard for working Americans. Hollywood film mainly revolves around crime and drama story, about a detective slash private detective and a female protagonist. However, the definition of film noir is not based on their contents. Other studios use black in older genres, such as parodies, comedies and horror movies. However, their fundamental similarities between these black genres and their themes and the director's approach to cinema. This has been a brief history of the evolution of cinema, how the creation and development of the camera led to what we know as cinema, and techniques of films that revolutionized cinema. As of today, the biggest film industries by range of feature films created were those of the US, China, Nigeria and Japan. In Hollywood, superhero films have greatly multiplied in quality and monetary success, with films from both Marvel and DC Comics being released more than once a year up to today. The superhero genre has been the most dominant genre, and so much as many worry it is killing traditional cinema. The 2019 superhero film Avengers Endgame was the most successful film in box office history. With the COVID-19 pandemic still at large, cinemas have shut down worldwide and are beginning to reopen. This along with new advancements being made in cameras and technology opens a new world of possibilities for the future of filmmaking and cinema. It is only a matter of time until we see what the future will bring. Thank you for watching.